so with my um 10 plus years of being active on social media what i'm starting to realize is that it's a bunch of square and round pegs trying to fit in each other's holes a bunch of people trying to force their ideologies on other folks and um sometimes it leads for never ending repetitive conversations and one of the most repetitive conversations is the one about should a relationship be 50 50 or should a man pay for all the bills now this right here is a statement that should just straight up end everything. It should, it just should end this shit. So let's read this. This man right here, D. Nice Sinclair says, if you think a man should pay all the bills, date someone that agrees. If you think it should be 50-50, date someone that agrees. The problem is y'all want to convince people who don't agree instead of just dating someone who has the same values. That's why the topic is so annoying. You know, me... I have my ideas. I, I know where I stand when it comes to this. But you shouldn't give a damn about what I think unless you are going to be in a relationship with me. But a lot of times, people come on these platforms with talking points trying to prove their ideas right when they don't have to. All you got to do is just find somebody that just aligns with the way that you think. But this lady right here is responding to this, react to this. It's a trap baby 001, Santia Deck. I want to see her perspective. Let's see what she has to say. So I have to say something about the last thing that I just posted. I don't think people understand how simple that concept is. Only deal with people that believe and think the same way that you do. I'm not saying they got to think exactly the same. But what I am saying is y'all's foundational and y'all's moral beliefs should be aligned. Friends, relationships, even business partners. Because if not, there's going to be issues at some point. Like people be trying to convince other people that don't believe nothing that they believe to believe in what they believe. Like how you sound crazy. Being equally yoked is a real thing. It yeah. is not for play play. It's in the Bible for a reason. There's Appreciate the subscription, Benjamin Valerdi. Um, back once she said like, dog, listen, I do these videos and stuff like that. I be talking these shits, but in person, and I'm real. I'm a real chill, chill dude. You feel me? Growing up, they called me Cool Ad Clee, like the Clee Clee, my real name. That's fellas. If y'all feel like a way about calling me Stacy, y'all can call me Clee if y'all want to. I don't give a fuck. Clee. So they call me Cool Ass Clee because I'm just, I just be chill. You feel me? I just be vibing. So like having these discussions and arguing about these shits in, in person, like I really don't give a fuck. To be honest with y'all, I don't give a fuck if you don't align with the way that I think. I just ain't got to deal with you. Be gone. Be about your way. Be wasting each other's time having this conversation. Let's continue listening. There's a reason why if you are somebody that likes something and you can't live without it and you end up with somebody that don't care about it, you don't make it. The relationship ends. The friendship ends. Like It's because we have things within us that we feel is just the non-negotiable. So why be with somebody that think it's negotiable? Like, hmm. you know, <laughs> and when I tell you, that's something that I've been having, I've been learning so much these last few years. Like you cannot force somebody to fit into your life if they do not have the foundational things that you need to be happy. Facts. Like it is okay to be single and wait for that because the appearance and the materialistic things, that's all negotiable. That all, we can, we can live without certain things, but when it comes to like your spiritual foundation, mm -hmm. you're like, you are someone that believes that health is number one or number, not number one, number number two, number three, whatever. And then if you are someone that feels like being family oriented is like a huge part of your life, but you date somebody that's the opposite of all those three things. That's true. Whose fault is it if it really don't work? That's true. Um, um, I said this before and I'll say it again. I like to base things off, um, you know, like integers. You know, with integers, you have a zero, and then you have negative one, negative two, negative three, or you have positive one, positive two, positive three. We got to find somebody that we have. We all have the same zero, so we basically we're all on the same grading scales. So if we have our zero, which is our base moral compass, our base moral guidelines, we all know this is our center. 
So if we go back back to negative three or positive four, we all have a good idea of what we need to do to come back to our center. That's how we justify things. That's why we have how we have good conversations because we know what our core beliefs stands in. So when we have issues, we know how to fix them. You know, some people use the Bible and religion for that. Some people use other things to go ahead and find some type of moral compass. But it's very important that you and your partner are equally yoked, like she says, you know. So you guys have the same moral compass, whatever that is. You like, you know, I'm going to cover a video later about um, a girl that has it only fans and she went on a date with a guy and he and he found out during the date that she had an only fans and, and homie straight up like got up and left the damn date like, all right, this not going to work. I'm gone. And you got the bag, you got bread, you got an only fans account. You can pay for this meal. You good. You got it. I'm out. You know, he didn't want to deal with her. And that's perfectly fine if he doesn't want to deal with a girl that's living that type of life and she needs to probably find someone else that's in that sex, sex, work, sex work industry and things that probably work out better for her. You feel me? Um, Yeah, let's continue listening. She's on one. She's on one. I don't know why we as humans make things so, 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 so complicated. True. Like, it's really not. I think we are always trying to paint a different picture than what is really in front of us. We really be liking people, whether it's a friend or if it's a relationship, and we look past things that is, is sitting there staring us in the face. But we're like, nah, nah, we can fix it. I can change it. Yeah. Let me just talk to them for a minute. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me grease them up a little bit and maybe they'll change their mind. But no, like, people are who they are. And if you meet somebody and they are a certain way, that is who they are for the yeah. most part. They're If they're an adult, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't make somebody into something else or something different than what they really are. Like, it's okay to walk away and okay. wait for the person, the friendships, the relationships that will fit within your life so that you can actually be happy. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that I'm telling y'all this is because I literally was that person. So I had to get that in my own head that like, you cannot change people. What you can do is change the people that you keep coming in contact with yeah. and allowing in your life, whether that's a friend, whether that's a relationship or whatever. So this is me speaking from experience, like be equally up with people mm -hmm. for real. That's sh that, that matters. Like that matters a lot. You will be happier when you realize that when you realize people are who they are, believe them the first time, believe the red flags, like I'm trying to tell you from experience, like True. it would save you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. True. Now, um, now I'm not gonna say that you can't give people the opportunity to grow. You should give some leeway for growth. That's very important, and you should have that. But you still, they still have to be growing with the same moral standards and same moral guidelines as you. Remember those integers, those integers that zero, they could be negative eleven. But as long as they're working towards, you know, that same moral guidelines as you, you know, you you fucks with that on, on that level. But if they're on a totally different scale, they out here doing a goddamn metric system and shit. They ain't even trying to understand, you know, the way that you divide and calculate and all your shit like that. They not even trying to understand that shit. You got to just cut your losses <laughs> and um understand that it's going to be a very, very difficult relationship. And, you know. Sometimes we get too caught up in building bonds and relationships with people that we just shouldn't. Because this is where the issue really lies. No matter what, if you with a fairly decent person that you, you kick with, you can vibe with, and you with them for an ample amount of time, you just spend a lot of time with them, you're going to grow a bond. You're going to grow a bond. It's just, it's just going to happen. And the longer you stay in that situation, you're going to find more reasons not to leave said situation. So you got to figure it out. You do have to make some changes. You can't get everything. You can't align in every facet with some people. And that's okay. But the important things, the core things, the real things that you hold close and tight and dear to your heart. If, like, is it going to make you miserable? Is it going to affect your livelihood, your life, the way you live your life if you give up those things to be with that person? If that's the case, then go ahead and move along. And that goes with so many other things, you know?
with conversation like she said with Jeff, your friends and things like that. Like, there's no, there's no point of stressing yourself out. I'm a person that, that really, really outside of grinding and stuff like that, I live a pretty stress-free life. There's a lot more things that I want to do. I'm more concerned right now on my health. You know, I want to be able to make sure I can live a long, stress-free life. That's what I want to go through. You know, but but when it comes to certain like arguments and stuff with people, I ain't got time for that shit. I'm too busy focusing on trying to build and grow. That's where my mind is going to. I'm not trying to argue. I'm not trying to argue. So I'm gonna state my point. You state your point. And if you try, sometimes I get sucked into some shit. Only people that can suck to me in some shit is my lady, cause she got a lot of other things that pleases me, and I'm trying to make sure I can continue to like make sure you know get them things. But, but on the real talk, like other a lot of other things, a lot of conversations, you ain't you ain't sucking me into them shits. You ain't gonna hit me with the okie doke to suck my energy. That shit ain't happening. So I want you guys to go ahead and do your best to do the same thing. Even when having conversation in these comment sections and stuff like that, you know, don't get too caught up in with people disagreeing with you. Like it is what it is. You cool. That's how you feel. Bet. Cool. Good luck. Good luck. You feel me? Sometimes in the comment section, somebody say something crazy about the way that I think. I just tell them, hey, good luck. Good luck with your life. It is what it is. But I'm gonna get up out of here. It's your boy Stacy, your favorite conditional lover. And I fuck with you and the reason why, because you, you fucks with me. Hey, I'm out.